Okay, so um, I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because I'm sick as shit and I have something due in like, oh god, 13 hours and I haven't even started, it's like four pages and I have a lot of stuff. Okay, anyway, uh, this is a skip to um, skip the electrified toxic waste map in Opposing Force, which is, the map name is OF183, or just 1A3. Um, this is not an RTA strat, this is not a scriptless strat. This is mainly for, um, I guess if anyone wanted to redo the Opposing Force run. <laughs> Um, this saves about a minute, and then I guess the thing I'm going to show you afterwards, which is completely unrelated and not really important, also saves about a minute. So, um, yes, this is good for segmented stuff. Um, you need a wait table to do this. I'll provide a link in the description. It's the link to the Source Runs wiki. Um, you need to put that in your config file, and you need to um, execute it properly. And you also need BXT, because there's a lot of commands we need it in, uh, enabled. So, um, I guess... Just starting off, let's go ahead and get all the commands out of the way. BXT HUD origin one. BXT show triggers one, which I already have set apparently. Um, we also need three three saves, but we're going to use four. But it doesn't matter. So I have bind v um, b and n, which is save ff, save one, save two. Save ff is for the um, for the save warp itself. Um, we're not going to touch that unless we're updating the saves. And then save one and two is for saving in front of the triggers. And um, I guess I can do the other one. This one is going to be going from um, 0A0 to 1A1. Um, but I'm going to explain that in a minute. And then pause G, or, uh, bind G pause. And uh, write the aliases. Bind mwheel up, uh, WL, and alias WL, weight 200, load FF, weight 45. The weights are completely dependent on your FPS, so if you have a lower FPS, you should probably go with lower weight numbers. Like, I'm at 200 FPS, so if you were at 60, you might want to do weight 45, and then load FF weight about 30. Like, the second the second um, set of weights is um, while the game is loading um, a new level. <laughs> um, that's very important. Uh, God, he's just blasting his music. Sorry, roommate problems. I think that's everything. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you have to start off on this map, the beginning of the game, which is another why, a reason why it's not RTA viable. I'm not going to make you sit through this, though. Um, so after the helicopter crashes, this is more or less where you are. Ow, pain. Okay, and then once the screen goes black again, um, then we're going to save. I guess if you wanted to make four saves, you could. Or four save binds, you could. But I don't have enough room on my keyboard for that. All right, and then right about here is where we save. So that should be the same as H, I think. Yes, OK. And then let the game progress as normal. Oh, before I forget. Um, I guess so you can see the health, I'll get a HEV suit. Forgive me, I haven't played this game in so long. It's not even funny. Okay, so... Oh no, cheats! Forgot about the cheats. Okay, so this is obviously the end of the level. So we're going to go through this trigger, and then we're going to save here with um, one of our saves. So we have save 1 here, then we have save 2 here. I'm going to call this save 2, uh, so it's not as confusing. And uh, save 3 is going to be down there. So we need to get on top of this chasm uh, to pull off this glitch. Um, I'm not very good at this at all. If you want a good demonstration on how to get up there, watch PJC's um, scriptless speedruns of Opposing Force. So let's try our damnedest to get up there. Oh god, I suck. Okay. Not okay. Not okay. Alright, and this is where the um, origin comes into play. So we need our X origin to be, um, our X um, position to be, like, no less than 300. So about 307 is pretty good. We need our Y to be um, no less than um, negative 1300. And um, no more than about, I guess, negative 1100. I guess going over a little bit is okay. But um, we need our Z to be at 
460 to about 500. 460 being absolute minimum, 500 being absolute maximum. Because we're kind of we're trying to land inside of a uh, corridor, so a corridor that faces this way. So we have to um, kind of be mindful of how much space we have. Um, so since we can't just jump to that altitude, we have to swim up the skybox to get there. And as I might have said, I don't know, I've recorded this a lot. Um, this this strat was just found yesterday, so um, this could probably become obsolete soon. So we're just going to swim forward and then save as we're falling down. And then pausing right in between that sweet spot. So I guess this would probably be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save with FF there. And FF we don't want to touch until we're updating the save files. Um, so let's just continue as normal. Your health doesn't really matter. I guess you can get it if you want. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, and then we're going to go to uh, 1A3, which is this map right here. We're going to go through the trigger, turn around, and then save again. And this is going to be save 3. So we have 1, and we have 2, which is this map, and then 3, which is this map. I'm probably going to show you which map it is because this gets very confusing very quickly. So we're going to go to save 1 and do a save warp, which I failed. Which I failed again. Oh my god, what the hell. Okay, and then we're going to appear on this map, and we're going to update FF. And then we're going to go to save 2. We're going to walk forward and not save warp. And then we're going to walk into the other tr uh, trigger that's behind us and save warp. Update the save, and this should put us from 1A1 to 1A2. And this is more or less the spot we need to be. And then we're going to go back to uh, save 1, save warp again. Update the save again, and we should be more or less right in front of that door. You don't want to be too far left or too far right. You want to be right in the middle. And then we're going to load our third save, which is this right here. This is the last one we made. Save warp, walk forward update the save when it actually loads. Uh, go to save 2, walk forward and save warp, and then update the save. And then 3 again, walk forward, save warp, update the save. Go back to 3, walk forward, do not save warp, walk backwards, save warp, and then you should be more or less in this room. If you did it right. Um, if you get stuck, that might mean that you're on the wrong version of Half-Life, like I guess NGHL it gets me stuck. Um, I think, I think, I really don't know if this is true or not. Um, it might have something to do with the rendering mode you're in, like I'm in OpenGL right now, and I always got stuck in D3D, but I haven't really tested it, and I don't really have the time to test it. And then you can just jump into this, and it'll change the level. And then you have skipped the Electrified Toxic Waste level. And at this point, you don't have any weapons, so you're going to have to do another save orb, a very easy save orb. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow, and I made it with all my health. That almost never happens. Oh my god, I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. Alright, whatever. I really don't have time for this. I have to like start writing a paper on multicast and broadcast and why this fucking dumped broadcast on IPv6. Ah, oh, it's fun. All right, so all those other saves don't matter. You can go ahead and overwrite every one of them. So I'm going to use FF here. I mean, not FF. I'm going to use save one here. And I'm going to drop down and without hitting the wall, you do not want to hit the wall. Save and then reload um, save one. Go down here and do another save warp. And then you'll land on that. And then you can just, you know continue the game as normal. Um, but you don't really need any weapons from here on out. Um, I guess. And then if you saved on there, you can save warp again to get out of the train, I suppose. Which I fucking... Did I fail it? I think I did. Well, whatever. You can you can do it if you time it properly. So anyway, that's... Um, I guess that's something. So if anyone wanted to redo a uh, segmented run of Posing Force, which would be really fucking cool, um, this would, I guess, be the main strat. Um, this could probably also replace the displacement strat, um, because, like, the second we save warp, we lose all of our weapons. Um, there is a way to fix that, but um, it involves losing an extra map, I think. Um, I don't know. But, whatever, who cares. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, that's the only thing we've really routed with multi-warp uh, multi and wrong warp and save warp, which are three very different things, and three very powerful things. Like, Multi-warp is probably as close as we can possibly get with um, doing out-of-bounds stuff in Half-Life 1. Which does kind of ruin the game, yes, but well, that's what glitches do. They ruin the game. So, um, yeah, that's that. Okay, I'm done. Bye.